Dr. Harleen Quinzel is who Harley Quinn was before she became Harley Quinn. And um, she was working at Arkham Asylum. She's a psychiatrist and that's where she met Joker and fell for Joker and then um, born out of that was, was the transformation into Harley Quinn. And um, yeah, so you see in the film, you see Do Dr. Quinzel and you see Harley. So you see the before and after. And um, we tried not to make it, I, I didn't want it to be as if she had a body swap when, she, when her skin got bleached, she suddenly is a totally different person. I think there's definitely, you can always see a bit of Dr. Harley and Quin Quinzel in Harley Quinn. And um, I kind of played it anyway that Harley is a bit schizophrenic, so she has voices in her head, and one of her voices is um, Dr. Quinzel. So she's always present. The Harley Joker stuff was so unpredictable. Like the squad stuff, we had done so much rehearsal, and, and, and we needed to because it bonded us in a way that none of us ever expected would happen, obviously. Um, but the Joker stuff, Jared and I didn't really do any rehearsals off screen. And it was perfect because then we would get in front of the camera and I didn't know what was going to happen and he didn't know what was going to happen. I don't think anyone really knew what was going to happen, but you'd just start. And that's why those scenes were so like electric because they were so unpredictable and those characters are unpredictable. People seem to really relate to the, to the flawed characters and I think it's important not to, to smooth over that and try and make them perfect, especially when they need to be a hero. You know, I think a mistake is to try and make the hero like the squeaky clean, you know, good guy or whatever. And the best thing about the Suicide Squad is none of them are good guys and they're all messed up and they have so many flaws and so many problems and issues that it's weirdly enough makes them relatable and in some cases really likable. The squad was something else. Like the squad on screen is, is like, it's really cool. The squad off screen, I've never seen anything like it. I've never experienced anything like it on a, on a film before. It was, I mean, we were joined at the hip. You couldn't separate us. It was, it made the, the whole experience just so much fun and, and great because then it was so easy to play that on screen. But, but off screen, we were far more bonded than you even see us on screen. And it got to the point where, you know, like, Usually when you rap or whatever, you, you head straight to your trailer, you head straight home, like you got to get work done, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the squad's just like always together all the time. I feel like I just like, no matter how, how far we delve, like how far, I, how much research I do, how much, how many scenes we do, I just feel like I've only scratched the surface of Harley. Like it's just a character that's like a, just like a bottomless pit of like, issues and fun and just there's so much to do I want to do like another 10 movies I've never felt that way about a character I always really like the fact that's why I prefer doing films tv so I really like being on a project doing it for a couple months and then leaving the character and leaving the the, the story behind